Marsalan Champagnat. Auntie, what's the revolution? A person or a wild animal? Marsalan Champagnat's innocent question to his aunt Louise makes us smile. But David, it makes sense. Hey, Marcelin, you're a young man now. You were born the same year as the revolution, in 1789, on the 20th of May. I defend all that's good about liberty, equality, and fraternity. But I'm horrified that there's so much cruelty. Daddy worries about the atrocities that could take place in Marles. And they respect him, learn from him, and you'll be good and just. I'd like to. And Mummy is teaching me to pray to the Virgin so that I can be like that. Here where Marcelin was caught in a huge snowstorm, I'd like to look back with you, Evelyn and David, at his life. His mother, Marie-Thérèse Chirat, and Aunt Louise, her sister-in-law, were very influential in Marcelin's religious awakening. He was a bad student, right, Juan? See for yourselves. He was very shy. And on his first day at school... Marcelin, come up and read. Can I begin? I didn't ask you! How unfair! I'm not coming back! So yesterday was your first and last day of school. All right, but you'll help me on the farm and the mill. He had success rearing lambs, but one day the words of a visiting priest made a striking impression on him. I'm really sure now that I want to become a priest. It's God's will. That's been difficult to accept. You'll have to study hard. You have very little education, but we have faith in you. He went to the minor seminary in Verrières. Being 16, he was older than his classmates and was a member of the Happy Gang. He failed that year and they sent him back home. What a disaster! Mother, we prayed together to Saint Jean-Francois of Regis in the shrine. I really want to study hard so as to become a good priest. I'll help you, Marcelin, so that you can get back into Verrier. So that's what happened. His conduct was excellent. His studies were mediocre. No wonder, he had a lot of failures. Finally, he got into the Saint Irenaeus Seminary in Lyon. This is a really good group. They'll be talked about in the future. I admire Champagnat. He has made such progress in his studies, in his spiritual life. Such determination to reach out to the most uneducated lads. In the holidays, young people and adults don't miss a word of his catechism. I like your plan to found the Society of Mary, Corvey. A tree with many branches so as to spread the faith in mission lands. But I think one very important part is missing. Teaching here, in France. It wasn't envisaged in the original project, but we'll think about it. They were ordained on the 22nd of July, 1816. The following day, they went up to the shrine of Fourvier. Our Lady, we come to entrust the future Society of Mary to you. Marcelin returned alone, with one plea to the Virgin. We need brothers. Champagnat was sent to La Valla as assistant to the parish priest. He caught sight of the church bell tower. I am a poor sinner, but you entrust me with your flock, Lord. With your mercy and the help of Mary, I will do my utmost for my parishioners, showing a lot of kindness to all of them. On a cold autumn night, a young man came to find him. Montpilau is a very rugged area, but Montan is seriously ill. You're a good lad, Jean-Marie, and you've listened to his poor mother's request. Let's go. Only 17 and he's dying. He's never been to school and knows nothing about God. We've been abandoned here for so many years. He consoled him lovingly and spoke to him about God. 
You don't know him, but God has always loved you and you will be happy with him, Jean-Baptiste. You are in his hands. I'll come back soon. Montaigne's death made a big impression on Marcelin, and on his return, he made the decision of his lifetime. We need brothers. It is essential to educate children in a Christian way, especially the most in need. With your blessing, good mother, I begin humbly. I'll take care of your training. You, Jean-Marie Grandjean, and you, Jean-Baptiste Audras, will be the first brothers, and this small house your home. Shall we give it a name? Yes. We'll make a sign saying, House of the Little Brothers of Mary. On the 2nd of January, 1817, the Institute of the Marist Brothers was born. Quietly, like a small bud, which promised life. That is how God works. How clever. We are making nails to earn our living. And how well Father Marcelin has taught us. Now that we have more brothers, the children's classes are going very well. Cooking, praying, studying, lots of things. We live with joy. Ow! We've given comfort to our sick brother, and now you can't succumb. I've hardly any strength. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary. They're coming to rescue us. Thank you, good mother. With the help of Corvée, Marcelin managed to buy a plot of rocky land near the river Gier. We work hard. It's important to help out. We do it with enthusiasm, Father, and with the sweat of our brow. La Valla is the cradle. The Hermitage is the family home, happily inaugurated this month of May in 1825. You are the first to have your formation here, after La Valla. There were already 30, and the schools continued to open. Marcelin also had to put up with a lot of disappointments. Interference and jealousy from Corville upset him and discredited him. He eventually became seriously ill. But he recovered and got going again. To educate children, you have to love them, and love them all equally. We've been through some difficult years, both inside and outside the congregation. Colin, Superior General of the Marist Fathers, is asking me for brothers to go to Oceania. How I'd love to go with you, Pierre. I'm going happily. I'll give it my all. Pierre Chanel was the first Marist martyr. I thank God that it is you, Francois, who has been chosen by a majority to be my successor. When I met you, Father Marcelin, I was nine and your catechism for the First Communion impressed me. And you soon added to the small initial community, becoming the sixth Marist brother. At daybreak on the 6th of June, 1840, Marcelin Champagnat began the everlasting life in our Father's house. We will live like you, all for Jesus through Mary, all to Mary for Jesus. Marcelin was canonized by Pope John Paul II in 1999. 200 years after the founding of the Marists, we have a challenge, a new beginning. Well, we have a lot of new beginnings. Of course, we're not starting from zero, but it's about taking on the Champagnat style in our changing times. You are an excellent lay Marist, Evelyn. It's true. Now lay people can become part of the Marist family, which was impossible in the early days. Montagne affected Champagnat. What would that mean today? Multiplying the interest and effort so as to get to the farthest peripheries that need the light of the gospel. With Mary, 
go in haste to a new land. And we want to contribute so that many of our brothers live in strength, light, the consolation of our friendship with Jesus Christ, offering a prospect of life and meaning, just as Saint Marcelin Champagnat did in his day.